Hey YouTubers! Before I get on to the main subject today, I would like to send out a thank you to Captain O Ordinary, who reminded me that it was probably most likely that Jesus and all the other people crucified weren't nailed to shit, because nails weren't readily available until after the Industrial Revolution in the 1800s. So they probably wouldn't have wasted something that was so intrinsically expensive on someone that was about to die. Alright, so let's move on to what I would like to talk about today which is the difference between slander and satire. Now, what I'm talking about only applies to the American system. It's the only system I know, so if you live in another country and it's different there, well, it's different there, you have different laws. All right, on to the main topic. Slander and satire. In America, we are totally beholden by the laws when it comes to, you know, law. These are often established by precedents. Precedents are cases that have come before and already been ruled upon. When it comes to satire and slander, to me the most important case would have been, I believe in the late 70s, early 80s, between the Reverend Jeffrey Falwell and Hustler Magazine. You see, Hustler was quite mad at Reverend Jerry Falwell, who is very much against pornography. You know, because somehow he, his mom didn't, you know, get it in the vagina. Whatever. Fine. Fair enough. So, you know, Hustler mad, runs us ad, and in the ad pretty much says that Jerry Falwell fucked his mom in the outhouse as a teenager. Now this is extreme, and Falwell gets pissed and he sues Hustler Magazine because he thinks he's got an instant case. I mean, surely, if anything is slander, this must be slander. But, on cross-examination, Jerry Falwell admitted that what was said was so extreme that no one could honestly believe that it was true. And the judge said, well, then that, sir, is not slander, that is satire. That is a joke, and it is permissible under the freedom of speech. That's right. So if the claim is so extreme that other people couldn't possibly believe it's true, then it's not really slander. Like if we said, you know, uh, George Bush just peed really long and that's what caused the hurricane in New Orleans and we should lynch him for that. Well, even though George Bush is an asshole, that is obviously outside of his realm of abilities, so that would fall into satire. But if I said, you know, George Bush is a douchebag who probably would deny health insurance to his own mother if she was not with money, well, I think that probably falls into slander because I could potentially see that happening. It is important when we are here on the YouTube community to remember that satire is definitely going to occur. We must be open-minded with a good sense of humor that perhaps when we are a little blustery and piss people off, they will respond with jokes. It is much nicer that people should respond with jokes than with, let's say, rocks, right? I mean, seriously, let's think about this for a while. Anybody who wants can put my face on Stalin's body, dancing around, and I'll have a good little laugh about it. Humor is a wonderful thing. And it is currently protected under the United States Constitution. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I don't really have anything else to say. I think that's pretty self-explanatory, right? I mean, we all know the dealio. I'll check you out later. -o. I'm super! Thanks for asking! All things considered, I couldn't be better, I must say!